Hello and welcome. My name is Lottie and I am one of the travel agents here. Can I help you at all today? You're wanting to book holiday? Amazing. Okay, well, I'd be really happy to help you with that. So please take a seat. Make yourself nice and comfortable and let's get planning that holiday of yours okay so this is very exciting I can imagine because after the year we've had it's not been a very good year for holidays has it not been able to travel and restrictions and whatnot so I'm really glad that you're being able to come in and book holiday So, let me ask you a few questions and we can get organising. Do you have a good idea as to what kind of holiday you're after or are we building up an idea from scratch today? Okay, great. So, how many people are you going to be travelling with, including yourself? Okay. And the big important question, where are you wanting to travel to? Wow, okay. The Maldives, certainly a very, very popular choice uh, because it is so luxurious. Turquoise sea, white sand, it's just beautiful. So, you're going to have the most amazing time, I'm sure. Have you been there before? wanting to go away for. Yeah, so as you will be um, going on a long haul vacation, I would recommend staying there for at least 10 nights so that you can really sort of adjust to the time difference. Um, you know, as the journey is quite long, you will want uh, to give yourself an extra day, really to allow yourself to recover from the journey. So, with the Maldives, I would definitely recommend staying there for at least 10 nights, but of course it is up to you. I'll go for 14 nights then. Okay, that sounds good. That way you'll be able to relax and also fit in lots of fun activities as well. <laughs> and do you have a particular departure date set in mind? Um, perhaps a specific date or a month? Are you quite flexible? Okay, no problem. No, it's good that you're able to give me a set date because then we can go straight ahead and look at the flights and things like that. Now, do you have a budget at all for this trip? Here we will be able to um, arrange your flights and your accommodation, um, but we do like to ask if there is a particular budget that you have before you go. Okay, so you're fairly flexible. That's great because the one thing about the Maldives that I do like to highlight to our clients is that it is a very luxurious setting. Of course, we can accommodate groups that are wanting to travel on a budget, but equally, it's one of those locations best enjoyed where you aren't as restricted with your budget. Uh, it's quite pricey because it is such a popular and beautiful holiday destination. It's really trendy, actually, as well at the moment. A lot of people are wanting to travel to the Maldives. Um, you see a lot of people on Instagram staying in the ocean villas, that kind of thing. So it's very, very popular and hence rather expensive. So as long as you're happy for me to go ahead without having any sort of budget in mind, then we can put together a really wonderful um, high-end holiday for you. Okay. So no budget. And I've got 
glad that I know which departure date you'd like. Now, when it comes to the flights, that is obviously going to be the first thing that we like to book. Um, we tend to book flights first and then accommodation, if that's okay. Uh, it means that we can arrange uh, the transfers to and from. It just makes things a lot easier. Okay, so do you have a particular uh, domestic airport that you would like to be flying from? Or again, are you rather open to that? Yeah, okay, if you are open to that, I would recommend London Heathrow. Um, it is the biggest airport in the UK and where most of our uh, sort of high-end long-haul airlines do depart from. Okay, so we'll go for that one. Alright, so with the Maldives, depending on which accommodation you choose, which island you're wanting to stay on, the international airport is the Valana Airport, okay? That is where you'll be flying into from London. And then when you get to the airport there in the Maldives, you will have to travel to the accommodation either via a boat or a private plane. So a very small plane. It won't be like the big aircraft you'll be flying on over there. But that is something that we can organise in a little while, once we've decided where it is you're going. Okay, so, the flight time is 10 hours and 25 minutes. Um, this is based on an average, so sometimes it could be 12 hours, 11 hours. Uh, but as your budget is rather flexible, then I will be trying to find a flight for you today that has the shortest flight time as possible. Alright, and I'm assuming you want it to be a direct flight, no stopovers. Yeah, okay, good. So, let me just have a look and see what I can find. you can rest in the flight and then wake up at your destination. The local time at arrival will be 12 o'clock, I believe. 10 past 12 in the afternoon. Okay, so there is a five hour time difference, which actually isn't too bad. And like I said, you'll be able to sleep throughout the flight and wake up in the sunshine, hopefully. <laughs> How does that sound for you? Yeah, I mean, some people would prefer to fly in the day, but I definitely recommend to fly at night time. It makes the flight go a lot quicker if you can get some rest in. Yeah. Okay, now, as you are travelling with a flexible budget, I'm assuming that you're going to want to travel first class. Of course. Okay, so... That to first class tickets. And then the inbound flight home. Okay, I've got one here um, th that leaves the Maldives at 11.40 a.m. And you will arrive home in England at 7.05 p.m. Okay, so I think that one's also a good flight time for you because you'll be able relax on your flight home, and then when you arrive home, uh, sort of early evening, you'll be able to have a good night's sleep in your own bed. How does that sound? Fantastic. Okay, so, are you happy for me to go ahead with those two flight times? You are? Okay, good. And just to clarify, the departing flight is on the departure date that you requested. And the uh, flight coming back home 
is 14 days, 14 nights after that. Okay, so that's all right for you then. Brilliant. And first class. Now, with the first class, you will have priority check-in, priority security, and priority boarding. You will have, on the aircraft, you will have a private suite, okay? You have beautiful reclining beds, 24-hour uh, fine dining service, bar service, um, personal assistant service, if you like. There will be first-class stewards at your disposal at all times. And then you also have a state-of-the-art entertainment system, so you will not be getting bored, I promise you. Okay. And, of course, the beds do fully recline, so um, it won't just be an ordinary seat. You will be in a bed, pretty much. Okay, but um, I'm sure you've flown first class many times in the past. Yeah. Okay. And, of course, the other benefit of first class is that you will have the first class exclusive lounge um, at the airport on either side. So, both here in London and in the Maldives as well. Okay. So, that is perfect. Now, just to clarify, the price per person for your return flights is £4,952. Now, my maths is not up to scratch, so let me just work out the total cost of your flights, okay? So, so the total cost of the flights is going to be £9,904 in total. How is that? Okay. So, with that being said, are you happy for me to go ahead and book those for you? Okay, great. Now, do you have a passport to hand? It doesn't matter if you don't, because you can insert all of your um, passport details on the website in your spare time, but if you do have one with you now, I'll be able to insert that. Now, exciting. 
getting the flights all booked, so you are definitely off to the Maldives. <laughs> um, but now we need to book your accommodation. Okay. Now, for your accommodation, do you have any preferences? So, um, are you wanting an adults only accommodation? Do you want a resort, a hotel, a private villa? A lot of the hotels do come with private villas, but sometimes you might just want to uh, be completely away from a hotel and just stay in a villa. Are you wanting a five-star resort only, or are you rather flexible? Any sort of requirements that you have, please let me know, and I'll be able to choose something for you on the system. Okay, so five-star only, of course. What I'm going to do is basically just enter that information as well as the dates into the system and it's going to show me the availability. Okay, so it's come up with about 12 resorts here um, based on the best deal that I can get for you and the best resorts that have come up on the screen. I have, let me see, I have four resorts that I'd really like to show you more of in our brochure. Now these resorts are some of our most popular, the most luxurious and definitely ones that I think you're going to enjoy. Okay, so would you be interested in me showing you a little bit more information on those? Okay, fantastic. Let me just get the Maldives brochure. And we can have a look at those together. Alright, okay, so here is the brochure. This contains all of our affiliated resorts, hotels and villas for the Maldives. So what I'm going to do is pop this down on the desk here in front of us. I'm going to highlight the four resorts that I've chosen. And I can talk to you about each one in a little bit more detail. Okay. having a private pool, there is a shared 
swimming pool on the island. Alright, there is a spa here as well, where you can also have spa treatments on the beach. And there's also a fitness centre, three a la carte restaurants, a lounge and a bar. options you can choose just to have the breakfast, you can have a half board, or you can have a full board um, with one of these resorts. When they say full board, it more often than not means all-inclusive, which does apply to this resort here. Okay, so you've seen the sort of general idea of the resort here. Let me show you Closer photos. Okay, so this here is the lighthouse deck restaurant. Okay, so one of three of the Alicart restaurants. Alright, and as you can see, it has the most beautiful decking here where you can dine and watch the sun go down, listen to the sounds of the ocean. It's just beautiful. Okay, now this is an example of the villas, the water villas. You can see it's all very beautifully, traditionally yet modern furnishings. And then you've got the private deck. Okay. Um, and I'll show you a bit of a closer photo of the deck. Okay, so this is what the deck looks like here. You've got a sunbed, okay, and some sun lounges, and of course you'll have your private swimming pool as well. Okay, so this is the first resort. Are you happy for me to move on to the next one? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, my next favourite. Which I think you're going to love. Alright, this resort here is the five star Conrad Maldives Rangali Island. Okay, so this is split over two islands. And the thing that's so special about this resort is that it has the world's first all-glass underwater restaurant. Okay. This is a must experience. If you do choose this resort, please, please go to this restaurant. As you can see, it's just got a glass archway, tables for dining, and all the while you can enjoy the tropical wildlife swimming above you. Um, unless you're scared of the water, that is, then maybe don't um, dine in this restaurant. But if you are scared of the water, maybe the Maldives isn't the best choice. <laughs> okay, so we have one of the restaurants here. Okay, there are eight restaurants in total and four bars. Uh, but this is just an example. This is the Sunset Grill, which obviously is just stunning because it is set over the turquoise waters. Now this is the Sunset Water Villa. Okay, you've got a very large swimming pool, very large villa, this one. I think this one's more of a family villa. Um, but if you would be interested in staying here, that can be arranged. <laughs> okay, so here again you can do um, breakfast, half board or full board. And um, with the facilities there are two infinity pools, okay, one of them being adults only. We have two spas, 
tennis, fitness center, yoga, diving center, if you're into your diving, um, open air cinema, things like that. Okay, now you can choose a water villa, or you can also choose a beach villa. This is an example of the beach villa here. Okay. So, another beautiful choice. Let's move on to the next one. This one also has eight restaurants. There's a pool, a spa, a diving centre, water sports, surfing, um, Wi-Fi throughout, obviously. Um, and this one is uh, 40 minutes by seaplane. Okay, so a little further out. In fact, I, I do apologise, I didn't tell you how to get to the Conrad. Okay, so the Conrad is 30 minutes by seaplane, whereas this one is 40 minutes. Okay. Some of the islands on the Maldives are more uh, farther away from the international airport and you can't take a boat there. So the two that I've just shown you are examples of resorts that you can't take a boat to. You have to use the seaplane. Okay. And the final resort is perhaps the most romantic out of the lot. And this is the Kagi Maldives. And this has a focus on well-being. So, just look how beautiful this is already. I'm sure you can understand just how wonderful it is. These are the lagoon and ocean villas here. Right. This is an example of a lagoon room. It's more of a bird's eye view here, but you've got a private swimming pool with a private deck, all of which is over the ocean. Just look how clear and blue that ocean is. It's just stunning. Now this circular building here is the spa, okay? And you can actually see this photo is inside the spa and it's all just set over the water. It makes it really tranquil, relaxing, beautiful. Okay. So this um, resort is 15 minutes by plane from the International or a one-hour speedboat. Um, personally, I would recommend doing the seaplane just to get the most out of your stay, but if you would like a boat ride, then be my guest. Here, this resort is a little bit more intimate, okay? There are only three restaurants, two bars, and there is in-villa dining, okay? So, like I said, this is a very romantic setting. A lot more 
peaceful than the other um, resorts that I've shown you and they're very beautiful as well okay so facilities include the spa obviously there is a main swimming pool on the island um, yoga room a fitness center water sports and a diving center as well okay and again you can have a breakfast option half board um, or full board in other words all inclusive and so those are the four resorts that i would like to recommend to you now these are um, the ones that definitely scream luxury um, and are really beautiful the service is great the food is wonderful in all of them and as you can see from the photos the location um, and the accommodation itself is just breathtaking okay so have a good think about which resort it is that you'd like to stay in okay then my darling out of those resorts that we've just had a look at there which one do you think you'd like to go for amazing choice i was hoping you'd go for that one because it is a favorite of mine and every client that i've had visit there have come back and said how beautiful it is so i already know you're going to have a wonderful time okay so with that resort the best room uh, is still available it's not a room it's an ocean villa so it will be uh, right on the ocean it's a private villa it has a private pool on the deck it's also got a jacuzzi a hammock that sits over the ocean in the bathroom they have uh, transparent flooring so you can look down at the ocean see fish, wildlife, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, it also has um, a slide coming off the decking into the ocean, which I think is a beautiful, beautiful addition. So much fun to be had with that. And uh, of course, it's beautifully decorated. It's really nice and large, spacious. And it's quite often used as the honeymoon suite because it is the best water villa that they have to offer. So is that the one that you'd like me to go for? Yeah, okay, fantastic. And would you like to opt in for breakfast? Would you like to half board or full board? Full board, okay, of course. Okay, and as we are affiliated with this resort, we can offer you some free perks as well, okay? So one of the free perks is going to be a sunset meal on the beach, okay? So you'll have a private chef with a beautiful selection of food and you can watch the sunset and enjoy that meal on the beach. Okay, and then the other perk is a free session at the spa. Okay, so I'm not ins really sure what that entails entirely, but it will include a treatment, a um, really relaxing beach massage. Um, I do believe that you can either have the massage on the beach or in the spa itself, but either way, you can arrange that with the hotel when you get there. Um, and that will be completely complimentary. Okay? Fantastic. Okay, so with that all um, put into the system, the total cost for the accommodation is £14,585. And then for a full board per person um, per week 
that's 2,000 so per two weeks is 4,000 okay so just adding that up for you So the total cost of the accommodation when you consider the room and the food is £22,585, okay? And then just to give you a rough idea of the uh, cost of the entire trip thus far, okay, we have got and thousand four hundred and eighty nine pounds. Is that okay? Fantastic. Okay, so obviously we have already taken the payment for the flights. Are you happy for me to go ahead and pay in full for the accommodation now? Okay, fantastic. Now, as we are um, partnered with do also include the transfer from Valana Airport to the resort uh, for free. So, would you rather go by boat or plane? No problem. Again, that will be private, so you can just enjoy that uh, without having to worry about any other passengers. <laughs> Alright, perfect. That has successfully processed and gone through. Now, can I just take your email address? And what I'll do is I'll send all of these confirmation documents over to you. Um, and that way you can access your booking, make any amendments if you need to. Um, you can also go onto the online check-in portal, things like that. So what is your email address, please? Yeah. Okay. So I have forwarded all of that information across to you. Congratulations, your holiday has now been booked. You must be so excited. Oh, great. Well, I'm really and it's been an absolute pleasure to arrange a wonderful and well-deserved trip for you. Okay, now if you have any questions in the meantime, you are welcome to give me a ring, come back in, and we can talk more about your trip if you would like. If this is the last time that I see you before you go away, have the most amazing trip and I look forward to hearing about